so we are continuing our lectures about the veins and their function we have previously discussed the central venous pressure or the right atrial pressure and today we are going to discuss the venous resistance and the peripheral venous pressure what is basically venous resistance and what is peripheral venous pressure basically we've discussed previously that when blood flows through the arteries the blood is facing some resistance due to the thick walls of the arteries similarly when the blood flows through the veins when the blood is flowing through the veins this is also facing a little bit resistance but the resistance is much much lower than those that of the artery arterial resistance because the walls of the veins are very much thin now the large veins the large veins has the large veins has almost zero resistance to the blood flow when distending so most of the large veins when they collect blood from the peripheries and they are bringing the blood towards the heart it is having almost zero resistance there is almost no resistance to the flow of blood in the veins because the only when the veins are distended but most veins that enter the thorax are complex compressed at many points by the surrounding tissues for example the first rib the atmospheric pressure at the on outside of the neck and intra abdominal pressure this is basically the thorax this is the thorax here and the blood entering the thorax basically when it is entering through the veins normally the veins is not having any resistance to the blood flow but when the veins are entering the thorax it is compressed from the outside the veins are compressed from the outside at some point so most importantly the veins are compressed at first rib these are the ribs when the vein is passing above the first rib it is it get compressed here similarly when veins coming uh, bringing the blood from here the atmospheric pressure may come here and it may collapse the veins and the blood flow may stop and similarly the intra abdominal pressure the pressure of the organs in the abdomen on the veins it may collapse the veins so these different kinds of pressure basically compress the veins at many points due to which some veins the veins develop some resistance for these reasons large vein offer some resistance to blood flow and pressure in the peripheral small veins in a person lying down is plus 4 to plus uh, 6 more than right atrial pressure normally the pressure in the right atrium is zero but when the blood is coming in the veins it is compressed at multiple points it is compressed at the uh, first rib it may be compressed by the atmospheric pressure in the neck it may be compressed by the abdominal organs when the blood get blood veins the veins get compressed by the intra abdominal organs the veins get compressed so the veins have to the the pressure in the veins have to increase so that it can go through that compressed portion or the slit like portion in the veins so the the pressure here is zero but the the pressure in the peripheral portion peripheral venous pressure the pressure in the peripheral portion is about 4 to 6 mm of mercury more than right atrial pressure it's 4 to 6 mm of mercury more than right atrial pressure be, uh, because it is being compressed at multiple points so the pressure has to increase to reach the right atrium and finally increase in right atrial pressure also increase the peripheral venous pressure so if the pressure in the right atrium increases because of the heart failure or due to some other abnormalities then it will also decrease the flow of blood and the pressure in the veins will increase basically so normally the the large veins has almost zero resistance but the little bit resistance that the veins are offering it may be due to the compression of the veins at the first rib and due to the compression of the veins due to atmospheric pressure in the neck and it may be due to compression of the veins due to the abdominal viscera in the abdomen and finally 
the the atrial pressure may increase the atrial pressure here may increase due to abnormalities in the pumping of the heart which may increase the peripheral venous pressure so that's all about the venous resistance and some factors which basically increase the venous resistance and increase the peripheral venous pressure thanks a lot for watching the video